Hey Alahoopa! So, uh, it's been a long time since I vlogged. Um, the last video, I believe, was for day 12. It is now day 20. And let's address something. I haven't really studied Swedish since... Maybe the 14th, perhaps the 13th. I haven't actually actively studied the language, aside from doing my link review for two days. Um, and that's because my granny came up to visit me for my birthday. So the last time you saw me, I was 17, and now I am officially 18. Yesterday was indeed my birthday. So I had my granny up, and obviously I was going to spend time with her. She drove 12 hours. I was going to spend time with her. And I just wanted to kind of take a step back from learning Swedish. Learning a language is kind of like ups and downs, and also... Getting vocabulary can be difficult, and I felt like, well, I didn't want to do it. I could have, you know, I had time when my granny was up here where I was kind of just like watching YouTube videos, like 30 minute videos or something like that, or she would watch a movie with my mom, and I would spend time alone reading or something like that. So I had the time then to learn Swedish, but I didn't want to learn Swedish. I thought that maybe taking a break would be a little bit good to kind of like step away from learning the language and kind of like when I would get back into it I'd be more excited. I'd have a little bit of a break so we could kind of see how well the information in my head stuck and kind of like that. So today is day 20 and I am back on my learning languages for 90 day challenge. Um, on this little break, aside from turning 18, spending time with my granny, eating way too much sugar, as one does when it's their birthday, um, I've also looked into some more school stuff. I'm trying to wait for this school to email me back. They won't. I emailed them last night, and I was like, hey, it's been a week. You going to get back with me, or do I need to uh, call the school? Like, Do I need to do that? Like, what, what do you want me to do? So we'll see what goes on with that. But, yeah, it is Thursday the 20th, it is 10.47, I work at 3, I work, I work 4 to 8, but I leave at, like, get ready for work at 3. So, yeah, I have all day today to learn Swedish and to work out, so that's what I plan on doing. Okay, I'm understanding what they say when learning a language is tiring, because <laughs> I've been doing this for two hours now, and I'm like, oh, you know what I mean? But... Props to this book for bringing up sentence structure. I needed sentence structure earlier because I wanted to be able to speak and make more sense. But also if I'd done this daily, then I would have learned about some sentences a little bit earlier. But they have, look, they even have their own little chart. This I think is correct. It looks like the same compared to the one that my man, the Swedish man, gave me. I don't remember his name. It's been a while, okay? Um, but yeah, so that's pretty cool. Pumoroen, uh, pu, wow, I said it so fine the first time. I was like, let me show off my terrible accent as I pronounced the sentence horribly. And I did indeed pronounce it horribly. Pumoroen, pumoroen, pumoroen drikke. Ja, inte tia. I'm sorry. Moronen, moronen is difficult. I see OR and I want to go more, but it's moron. So, moronen, moronen. We'll get there eventually, right? Right? Dude, my desk is a mess now from trying to live complete. This stupid Swedish 3 course, it's not stupid, but it's tiring. And I still just have the last couple of things left. Um, it is later. Dear heavens, dude. I'm not camera appropriate today, apparently. Camera doesn't, I don't look them. It's 2.46, so I have to go take a quick shower. I don't need to, I just ate cereal, so fish food in my teeth. For Lord. Um... But, yeah, I had to stop because I was tired and I wasn't really, like, I was like, I just wanted to be done. And that's not what you should do when you're learning a language. So I took a break and I went and worked out. And now I'm going to work. So, 
that was today. Did I do Link? Nay, nay. Yeah, I didn't. I did not. Hello, you guys. So it is currently the 22nd of October, and yesterday I went to my dad's, and I got a, an iPad. Not an iPad. A Samsung tablet, actually. And so I've kind of just spent today doing nothing but messing around with it and getting settings how I want and getting the apps I want downloaded. But while I was doing that, I found this app, okay? This one right here. And it is called Be Ling You App. Be Ling You App. And the free version, I've only done one so far. It says I've done two. But it has stories in it. And then you read a story and you can take like a test on it. As you guys can see, I only got two out of three correct. Which I wasn't really trying to understand. I was just trying to see what this was even about. And you got some vocab words. And if you're a premium member, you can like do a lot. But I'm not a premium member. I've never even touched this. So... <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited to kind of like look around at this and see. Eventually, if you are premium, you can have multiple languages, but I just have it in Swedish. I kid you not. I was scrolling through the language list of like, it had like English, Spanish, French, German, maybe Japanese, like Korean, Russian. And I was like, they're probably not going to have Swedish. And they did. They had Swedish. And I was like, oh, what? The, what? The, the heck? But that was pretty cool that they actually had Swedish. So I've been doing this all day, but I am going to get off of it right now. So I'm getting a headache, and I'm going to maybe, I don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, but I just thought I'd show you and tell you that I've not spent today doing really anything aside from messing around on my iPad. So. Fifteen days ago when I was like I have to finish editing this video because somebody else I saw mentioned this idea That's very similar to mine and we can't have that because I won't like in good content be able to say it was original then um, Well, I finally finished editing it and putting it all together and the whole reason I was like really well when I started editing it I decided I was going to put English and Swedish subtitles on it which I'm not nowhere near fluent in Swedish, so I thought this would be a great way to practice my svenska. But, uh, I finally finished filming and editing it today, and I just want to be done with it so bad, y'all. I want to be done with it, but I have to go through and put the subtitles that are in Swedish because I have them all in English because I did that while I was filming and editing so I didn't forget and now I need to do the Swedish subtitles and I'm so ready to be done with this stupid video <laughs> I regret I thought this would be a great way to practice my Swedish and to like work on sentence structure and it is it's a good way I just I have regrets I don't want to do it I want to be done so then I can upload it and people can be like wow Madison this is fantastic but they can't I <sighs> Bonjour. Hey. Hey. Um yeah. What's today's date? Um Idager Uns Show 6 of October. Let me let me just give you a little bit of an update on how Swedish has been going the past couple of days, okay? Are you ready? Svenska? Yeah. Javier in Tehun. I don't know her, okay? I don't. Was that the correct word order for that sentence? Yaviente, okay? That's like the phrase I use yushekta so often. Um, it's my favorite Swedish word. No, it's not, okay? <laughs> but I use it so much. Um, I, it's, it's not going all that good. But, man, Young Royals Season 2 comes out. In less than a week, I am so stoked for it. So let's get a little bit better on that Swedish grind. And I got an iPad for my birthday from my dad, but I haven't used it. I got it last Friday. 
um, and I haven't really used it. It's just been sitting in a very fluffy chair because I don't want it to like get scratched or anything until um, it has a protective case on it and like a screen protector and those are coming in today. Poor Oom's dog. So, I am patiently waiting those to come in so I can start using that for language learning. That's the reason I wanted it, was so I had a small computer that I could bring anywhere. Um, so, we'll see if that comes in and then I can start using that more. Because the, the laptop is more like a stationary like tower computer without the power because it has it has to stay plugged into a wall to get used so it doesn't really work all that well um but yeah thanks for coming to the update i'll talk to you all later this vlog is getting really long like day wise video link wise you'll be in there so la 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 drinks ow